I got my first eyelid cell transplant, I guess, about 17 or 18 years ago. Um, I had been through uh, quite a bit um, with my diabetes before that, and obviously it was a huge help and uh, something that I was very fortunate to get. After I got my transplant, uh, I didn't really understand that I would be insulin free, that I wouldn't have to worry about when I ate or if I didn't eat before I went to sleep that my insulin was, I didn't realize, I never remembered being like a normal person uh, where I didn't have to check everything. So I was real tentative the first few days and that lasted for uh, many, many years. And uh, now, you know, 15, 16, 17, 18 years later, uh, I've had to start back on a little bit of insulin. Uh, but it's a lot different now than the way it was before. I feel like, well, I, I don't feel like for sure, um, I wouldn't be around today if I hadn't received that transplant. Um, I wasn't great with my diabetes. Um, I thought I was, but I really wasn't. And my body was letting me know that I hadn't been too good. Without the transplant, like I said before, I would not be alive today. That's for sure. Uh, number two, um, yeah, I was able to get a job as a firefighter, um, which was pretty incredible. Um, I wouldn't have been able to do that uh, without that transplant. If my body couldn't regulate itself, I would not be able to qualify to be a firefighter. So it opened up that door and fortunately I was able to get in there. And uh, I've been a firefighter for 14 years now. So, I'm, I'm, you know, it's incredible. Uh, also, uh, I've gotten married since then. I've, I've had uh, twin boys. My boys now, after all these years, I've had my first children and they're three years old. I never thought that uh, uh, any of this would be possible in one lifetime. I, I guess with today's uh, technology and you know the way things are progressing, now at this point, I, nothing's beyond my imagination. And uh, I know that the Research Institute is working on all kinds of new things. And, uh, you know, they have, they've got the, great, the greatest doctors. So it's pretty encouraging. Um, you know, I've, I've had my opportunity. Uh, you know, if something comes up in the future, that's great. Um, but I'm also uh, excited for all the future diabetics that uh, hopefully because of the Diabetes Research Institute will have it um, even better than I had it. And um, who knows, maybe, uh, maybe uh, they won't have it at all. Maybe they'll be cured.